Hello and welcome back to this course. Today in this video we are going to start our new section in which you learn about the conditional statements. There are three conditional statements in Java that are if, if else and if else if. We will definitely discuss about each statement in detail in different videos. So for this video I will only focus on the if statement. If statement is used to specify a block of code to be executed if a specified condition is true. Means we will just type the if statement and we have give one condition. If that condition is true then that block of the if statement will be executed and if that condition is false then that if block will not execute. Look at its syntax. You first have to put the if keyword then you have to put the round brackets and in round brackets you have to give the condition. You can also say in expression. Now if that expression or condition is true then this block will be executed and if the condition is false then the block of if will not be executed. I hope you understand. Looking at the example then we have just create a integer variable or with the name age that contains value of 18 and I have given the condition that if the age is greater than and equal to 18 then sprint you are 18 years old. And outside I have typed another statement that will display statement outside the if. So let's run this example on our IDE. Now here in NetBeans in the main function I am just going to declare a variable like int age and I am not going to give it value I am going to take input from the user. I just type here scanner s1 is equal to new scanner and system dot in. I first import the scanner class and then I am just going to age equals to s1 dot next int. Now I have got the value from the user using the scanner class. Now I am going to apply the if statement here. So I type here if keyword then in round brackets I just type here age is greater than equal to 18 then come inside the block and print this message system dot out dot print ln you are 18 years old and outside the body I just type here system dot out dot print ln statement outside the if block. So before running this program I am going to write one statement here like system dot out dot print ln enter your age. Now if I run this program you will see a message enter your age. I type here 25 you will see you are 18 years old and statement outside the if block. Now I am going to run this program once again and I type here 12. Now you can see that the statement within the if block is not executed because the condition is now false. 12 is not greater than equal to 18 so that's why we don't get message you are 18 years old we only get statement outside the if block. So in this way the if statement in Java works. In our final project, we definitely use if statements to evaluate our different conditions. I hope you understand about the if statement. If you feel any problem, then don't hesitate to uh, ask me a question. I will definitely help you in every problem. So I think that this is not much difficult concept. You understand it easily. So that's it for this video. I will see you in next video of conditional statements.